See, I thought I was done dragging some of you dirty underwear having ass, homophobic ass straight men, but it seems like I have just begun. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came to read. I don't know if clubs work the same way in my city as they do in yours, but in most nightclubs in my city, it's very segregated. So we have one night where it's a lot of white people that go, and another night where it's a lot of black people that go. And they alternate nights, but it's usually switching between Friday and Saturday nights. And a lot of the gay people that I know are really pressed when the idea of going to black night is what they call it, you know, behind the scenes. They don't call it down on the flyers, bitch, but if you analyze the flyers correctly, you can tell which type of crowd is going to be there. So a lot of my friends are pressed by even entertaining the idea of going to a black night And I can't even drag them too much because I know if it's not a gay night and a lot of black people out there A lot of black straight men have a problem when they see us faggots twerking with their girlfriends It's like girl if you claim to be this straight man Why aren't you focusing on the vagina that you're not getting instead you're focusing on my ass Yes, I'm moving around, I'm moving in a circle. If Beyonce comes on while I'm getting my life and, and I'm drinking, bitch, I'm gonna shake my asshole. And if there's something that you're pressed about, you need to go ahead and consult some type of life coach. Because as I said, if you're focusing more on gay men than the woman that you came out there to see, that says more about you than it does about me. But anyway, I wanted to talk specifically about this night that my friend Gio had. So he went to an all black night. He was having his fun, you know, drinking with his girls. He was girl, he was twerking his ass, bitch. Yes, his cute ass Hispanic ass was over here giving you everything that you needed. He was giving you a show, bitch. He was on the dance floor getting his life, girl. And I don't hang around a lot of people that don't embrace who they are, okay? So if Gio felt like he wanted to twerk his ass, he gonna twerk his ass. He's not gonna pretend like he's one of these straight boys in there and just stand up and bop, bitch, no, and just be on the, bitch, straight boys kill me, be on the, pay, uh, cover to be on the wall and just look. Now, bitch, I'm finna get in there and get my life hold. If I paid this much money to get inside this motherfucker, best believe I'm gonna be out here Looking so crazy and love. Bitch, I'ma give you a show, ho, even though I paid for the ticket, ho. I'ma act like you did. Bitch, so yeah, Gio went in there and he is himself. So if he felt like doing certain things, that's what he motherfucking did. And guess what these not minding their own business ass straight black men had to say about it? Bitch, they called security on his ass. And the reason they called security on him was not because Gio was out here groping them, because Gio don't give a fuck about that shit. Bitch, if he came out, he came out to have some fun. You hear what I'm saying? He, it's not because he was um, grinding on them, bitch, because I know a lot of people think that gay people just reach out and touch whatever they want to, whenever they want to, as if you hoes have the qualifications. Bitch, you, you barely have the qualifications to be in relationships or even the line of eyesight of women. They don't, they're not even featuring your ass. So what makes you think that our high maintenance asses will want your dirty underwear half asses? You know, you barely know how to wash your clothing. Your house is a mess and it smells like motherfucking. It smells like a, a bando trap house. It seemed like Future or somebody was in there um, pushing dope. So it's like, what What you? What makes you think that we want your dusty ass? They called security on my friend Gio because they didn't like how he was dancing. They didn't like how he was dancing. They didn't want to see him dancing, even in their peripheral vision. So uh, the security guard came up to Gio and was like, girl, you gotta take your gay ass on out here. They didn't say gay ass, but they said, you know, essentially just get off the dance floor. You can go by the bar or something. Now, Jill was like, so what do you want me to do? Dance in the bathroom? Girl, they couldn't say shit to that, but Jill took his ass on over to the bar and had his fun. But let me tell you something. It, it's getting annoying to the point where I, why do I feel more comfortable hanging out with straight white men? And I'm not saying that all of them are perfect and none of them are homophobic at all because especially if you get into the frat culture, they are ridiculous when it comes to that, even though half of them are gay as fuck and they just don't want to admit. And that's true, T, because there's some of them are DL and pretending to be, they got face this pictures on, on Grinder and Jack like this, bitch. What's up? No femmes, no fats, no blacks, no Asians, DL mask for mask, looking for same. So whites have their problems too, but it should not be where I'm more comfortable around modern day millennial college type of kids, white people, than I do around that same type of crowd and they're just, they're black. I think minorities like blacks and, and Hispanics have been so policed. They've been told that they don't amount to enough so, for so long that they now have to overcompensate. They said I wasn't human enough. They said I wasn't mad enough. So now I'm going to have to be hyper masculine. And now they want to police everything within their line of sight. And homophobia has never stopped Gio, me, or the rest of my group of friends from going to a lot of places because it's like after we have gone through so much self-hatred, after we have dragged ourselves for half of our lifetime, 
times after we have struggled to come out and accept ourselves what makes you think that after all that self hate that we have been through that you can drag us any harder bitch that you can make fun of us with any more intensity than we dragged ourselves I think that a lot of straight men in general have such a serious problem with hyper masculinity but I think because of the history of the black man that is even worse in that community but all that sociology shit aside honestly if you don't like something why don't you focus on the things that you do like I don't understand because I'm not someone that is heterosexual as you may have noticed. I'm not sure if I made that obvious yet. <laughs> but why would, can you imagine me being pressed, me being angry about a woman dancing the way that she dances? I like men. I'm focused on men. I'm looking at men. I want to be with a man. Why would I be angry? Why would I be upset about a woman kissing another woman? That shit does not make any sense to me. And the thing is, if you look at the statistics, a lot of gay men are out here getting more education than straight people. Out earning straight people. Look it up! We live in a world that is free of all these damn status quo ass rules that you hoes have in the heterosexual world so that's why you're pressed when you want to do certain things like you want to wear the shit that Prince once wore but just because it happens to be in the woman's section of the store your ass can't do it or your boys will clown you so you get pressed and you get angry when someone's out here doing the same shit that you want to do and I'm not saying that that makes you gay but I'm saying that you want to explore things that may not be seen as masculine, but you can't do it. And now all that pent up anger, you can't even express yourself as a straight man sometimes. You can't even cry, bitch. You can't even express sadness or love sometimes. You can't even love your woman. Or you be seen as cheesy or soft. So all that shit that is bombarding you day after day and we out here living free and fucking dancing. I feel like y'all are pressed about that. I feel like that makes you very angry. So instead of really focusing on things, first of all, that you claim to not be attracted to, if you don't like the way my ass moves, you can go on to the next section of the club. I'm not twerking it on your dumb ass because I don't want your silly ass with your dandruff filled ass dress. I don't want it. I don't want your ass. So if you're worried, first of all, don't worry about things that you're not attracted to. Second of all, if you're getting angry about the fact that gays are out here violating society's rules of what should be, then you need to go explore parts of your personality that may not line up with what society says. And maybe that will take some of the steam off and maybe you'll be less homophobic and violent. And lastly, bitches, I don't want any of you hoes ever again coming from my friend Gio or any of my friend group. Anybody. Anybody. Okay? Because I'm going to continue to drag and read your ass. Okay? You lucky I didn't tell these hoes where the club was. The way that some of you straight men are so concerned with what gays are doing in real life, I can only imagine what you're doing online. What is your Pornhub search history looking like?